All right, you're welcome to the speech tutor um, on YouTube. And I have this information to share with you, most especially if you have to answer uh, 10 questions in WAEC on building drawing. And this information that I'm presenting have to do with steer and steer cases, steers and steer cases. And what is a steer? What are steers? Steers are steps arranged in series for the purpose of an access from one floor to the other. So that is the simple description of stairs. Then staircase. The staircase is the room or apartment in which stairs are enclosed or are located. Now, the most important thing about stairs and staircases about stairs are what I'm going to explain here in this that I termed uh, terms used in describing stairs, terms used in describing stairs. So these are very, very important. So what are those terms that we use in describing stairs? Number one is landing. Number one is landing. At this point, landing, this point is known as landing. So when you climb the stairs and you're about to enter uh, to, uh, to take another stairs or to enter into a room. So this point is what we call landing. Then we also have going. So going is the distance from this point to this point on the surface of the stair. So distance from this point to this point is what we call going. Then we also have rise. So rise is the distance from this point to this point here. And then we also have nosing. So this point, the edge on the stair, the straight edge on the stair is known as nosing. And we also have riser, we have tread. So tread is the point on the surface of or the surface of the stair of the stair. That is the tread. And we also have pitch line. We have pitch line, and then we also have edge room, we have ceiling, and we have hand rail. Hand rail is where you lay your hand on the stair when you are climbing it. Then looking at this uh, diagram here, looking at this diagram here, so the total going, the total going from here to here, we have seven. So total going is seven. So distance from here to here is what we call total going. And we also have total rise. Distance from here to here is what we call total rise. And then if they ask you, that how many flights do we have here? We have just one flight. Not just one flight. Since it is one, uh, one, uh, it's one step, or, or what would I call it? But this, what we have here is one flight, as based on the stairs that we have here. Then uh, this diagram shows us most of the things that are explained here. We have the ant rail. We have the landing. I believe you can see this one very well. So we have the landing. We have the tread. We have the rise, and then we have what we have the riser. So this surface here, this line from here to here, is known as the riser. Why the rise is the distance from this point to this point here. Then we also have going. So distance from here to here is the going. Then we also have balustrade here. We have waist. We have a uh, step. We have string, we have nowhere post. So um, part of it has brought out here, we have rice, as you can see this one very well, we have nosing, we have going, we have scotia, we have thread and riser. So take note of all this, you're able to identify this when it's given to you in the exam. So identification is very, very, very important. And I describe them here, I put a little, a little note about them, about their description. So I put it here so you can pause this and write this down or, or study it yourself. Okay. All right. So the most important part of this note again are the types of stairs. Types of stairs. We have straight flight stairs. Straight flight stairs. So this is the uh, this is the pictorial view of the straight flight stairs. And then this is the orthographic view. The orthographic view is very, very important. So they can give it to you and you ask you to identify the type of stairs that this is. So this is the pictorial view. 
and this is the orthographic view. So where you see this, so this is uh, orthographic view of a straight flight steer. And then we also have dog leg steers. Dog leg steers, this is the pictorial view, and this is the, this is the orthographic view of a dog leg steers. So take note of this. And then we also have another one that we have here. We have duplicated or double dog leg steers. So this is the pictorial view, and this is the orthographic view of duplicated or, do or double dog leg steers. And then we also have here, we also have helica steers, helica steers. So this is the pictorial view of an helica, of helica steers, and this is the orthographic view of helica steers. So as I said, adaptation of these things is very, very important. Most especially the orthographic views, be able to identify them when it is presented to you and questions are given to you or the question is given to you concerning any of these. So uh, uh, try as much as possible to be able to identify them and study also the description of the terms used in describing tests here is very, very important. They can give you a word form and ask you to pick out the correct answer related to what it has, has been given to you. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, keep on practicing. God bless you.